Welcome to another Skyrim video, my name is Alex and in this video we'll be talking about one of the most important mods for Skyrim, Legendary and Special Edition. This video has been requested by one of the viewers, so right now we are going to do it. Skyrim Vanilla UI was clearly designed for consoles and this mod will give you a nice clean UI with different tabs for different types of items that you can also favorite and then it will also rework your uh, quick menu. It will give you different groups that you can use your keyboard with so you can have different loadouts and builds and gear and things like that let's see what else we have here we have the gear tab we have aid we have magic we have all kinds of stuff it's very flexible it also works with a custom font i'm using a the sovereign guard font which i will leave you a link in the description if you want to use that font as well other than that it provides all kinds of different information about weight value sorting options you have the search option you can uh, search for items if you have a lot of them. I actually like to keep my inventory nice and and uh, clean. But for those of you who want some quick navigation, like for example, you want to switch right to the magic one, you just press left alt or go back to the inventory. Very, very powerful. Now, this mod also comes with a lot of options for configuration. So let me just see where it is. I have a lot of mods, so a lot of configuration menus. Let's see, Sky UI, there we go. You have the splash screen. Now on the general tab, you have options such as font, si font size. By default, I think medium, but I like to use large. Quantity of uh, menu items for grouping. You have different icon themes that you can change. Disable colors, active hood effects, so you can uh, have that disabled if you don't want to see it on your screen. Now you also have uh, favorite groups, you have quite a few, 8 groups, unequip armor, unequip hands, and you have little tooltips below that will tell you what to do, what each of the options does. Then we have the controls tab, search, space, switch tab, equip mode, if you hold shift while you're looting something you should, I think you will automatically equip it, uh, group, group use, all of that stuff. You can have different uh, hotkeys for your groups. As you can see, I have up to group four. I don't think I need eight groups. Right now, I'm not even using them, but that's very helpful. Let's say you're going into a dungeon where there's a lot of vampires and you want to equip some specific gear or weapons or spells, then you can easily manage that with Sky UI. And then we have some active effects. Let's see what else do we have here. Um, item cards, all kinds of stuff. So that's basically Sky UI. I'm gonna go ahead and say this is the most important mod for Skyrim apart from the unofficial patch and SSE engine fixes. So how do we install this? I'm gonna go out of the game and show you how to get this up and running. All right, so to install Sky UI, here's how you can do it in what I would say is the best way. Now you can just drop things in the data folder of your Skyrim if you wanna install it manually, or you can use the platform that's integrated in the game. That's totally fine if you don't wanna bother with this. But if you want to start modding Skyrim in a more serious way, then first thing you need to do is make sure that you have something like 7-Zip installed on your machine. I need the 64-bit version. Once we have that, we can unpack everything. Then you need to go to this address. I will leave you all the links in the description below. You need to download the Skyrim script extender, SKSC, and this is something that a lot of mods require, especially the complex ones. So here you got to pay attention if you're downloading for Legendary Edition or the old version of Skyrim, or if you're downloading for Special Edition, or if you're downloading for VR, go with the 7Z archive, download it, and then basically you will need to extract it. So I have it here. Then take all of these files, go copy or cut, whatever you want, go to the root folder of your game. In my case, it's right here. And then you need to paste them. And if you already have it, this is how you will be updating it. Just overwrite everything. It's very important to keep this um, up to date or the mods will not be working. And then once you have all of that, keep the root folder open, we will need it. You have SKSE installed. Now, the next thing that we need is a powerful mod manager and I recommend Mod Organizer 2. So go to nexusmods.com, make an account. This is where all the best mods are located, free to download. And this one is hosted on the special edition version of the website. There's also just a Skyrim for legendary edition, but a lot of the mods can work between the editions, like for example, texture mods. 
but I would suggest that you always download for the appropriate version of the website. So download mode organizer. This works for legendary as well. Go to the files tab once you have an account and download the installer version. Once you have mod organizer downloaded, go ahead and start it. I have it right here. And now we need to quickly install this. So what we're going to do is here in the root folder of the game, I have a mod organizer showcase folder. And this is where you will be installing it. Now, some people say you shouldn't install in the root game, root folder of the game. I don't think that's a problem. They probably referring to permission issues. If you have like a C and D drive where your Windows is located, since I have Steam on D drive, there's no problems at all. I already have one here, but I'm going to do another one to show you. So I created this folder. Now we're going to navigate to that folder. Let's see where it is. D drive, Steam, Steam apps, common. Skyrim Special Edition Mod Organizer Showcase. Click Next. Now here you want to scroll down and you want to click on Handle Nexus Links so that we can download mods directly from the Nexus website in the Mod Manager, which is very convenient. We can, I don't need a Start Menu folder, but I do want a shortcut. And then just give it a second or two to install. There's also a tutorial when you first started, so I would suggest that you go through that. I don't need to go through it because I already know how it works but I'm going to show you some basics and I'm not going to talk too much about load orders and things like that because that's out of the scope of this video, but basically you need to Google and understand how mod loading priorities work. It's very important, but for now you can go ahead and click portable. And when you click portable, then everything, all the configuration files, mods, downloads, everything will be located inside the mod organizer folder. So that's very convenient. And here, once you have that, you select the game. It should pick up on the game automatically. I'm not going to go through the tutorial. Now, the first thing that I like to do is I like to go to settings. And you can go to the Nexus tab and make sure that you are connected to Nexus and to your username, password, all that stuff, and connect your account. Then on the general tab, you can switch the style. There's some pretty cool styles. I like to use Paper Light 6788. That's my uh, preferred style. It looks very nice and modern, very easy to understand. And here, since we installed SKC, you will see a drop down menu. It says SKC. Now, if you run the game from here, you will start an instance version of Skyrim with SKC enabled. So you can start modding it. And this is how you'll be starting Skyrim. But to make this convenient, what you can do is you can go here on shortcut and you can put this on desktop, SKC. Then you can rename that to, let's say, Skyrim Showcase, since I already have one for my full build. And then, as I've shown in the previous videos, you can go to uh, Properties if you want to change the look of the icon so that it looks uh, nice. Go to Change Icon. Navigate to the root folder of Skyrim Special Edition. And click on the executable. You will just pick up the little graphic. And now it looks nice and pretty. So when you run the game from here, the mod organizer will start automatically. You can also connect it to Steam if you want, in case that you're not logged into Steam, mod organizer will log you in automatically. And if you don't have any online connection, then you will start in offline mode. And then when you start from here, you basically start a modded version of Skyrim. Now that's pretty much done. We can start modding it. The next thing that we need to do is we need to download Sky UI from here. I will leave you this. All of the links will be in the description as well as two videos on how to mod Skyrim and performance optimizations. I think those two videos are very important. So check them out. Go to the files tab and you can go with mod manager download. I'm not going to use that because I have two instances of mod organizers. So we get confused which one to use. So I'm going to go ahead and use manual. The Nexus website will tell you if there's any requirements, so always make sure to uh, check that out. And then you can go here with slow download. Now, if you become a premium user, it's not expensive. It's like, I don't know, a couple of dollars per month, or maybe there's a permanent option as well. Then you can always download uh, much faster and you can download many mods at the same time. Actually, you can download mods at the same time, even as a free user, but you have some speed limitations which I don't think are that much of a problem. 
So I'm gonna download Sky UI here. Now, if you were to download it with the mod manager, it would appear in the downloads area, and that would basically correspond to where it's installed. You go to the, uh, let's see, where is the downloads folder? Right now, we don't have anything, but that's where the mod organizer will download mods for you. And then you would uh, you would right click and install. But now we're gonna go install manually, so navigate to where you've downloaded the mod. And now what you wanna do is you wanna click manual anytime you're installing a mod and read all of these tooltips. But basically, I'm gonna skip all that. You wanna make sure that it says here looks good. And if it doesn't look good, generally speaking, you can right click and set data directory until it says looks good because Skyrim has a virtual folder system. It's very, um, it's recommended to have everything installed in a way that the mod organizer and the game recognizes properly. So go ahead, click OK. And to activate the mod, you just press this, and that's it. Now, all the mods that I would recommend that you install in addition to Sky UI is SSE Engine, let's see, Engine Fixes. So that would be the first one. And also you want to have the uh, unofficial patch. That's very important stuff. I would say those are must-haves. And in the other video, I go through all of this stuff as well. So make sure you check out that video if you want to know more about it. And that's how you basically install Sky UI in Sky Special Edition or Legendary Edition. And as I said, you can also install manually or you can install with the Bethesda platform inside the game. But if you're serious about modding Skyrim, then I highly recommend that you use something like Mod Organizer. So I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, if you have any questions, feel free to let me know and subscribe for more Skyrim videos. I'll see you guys in the next one.